Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. really cold and I've been out all day and I'm just sniffling a lot like a lot like a lot a lot you know I like a lot yeah mm -hmm. a lot um, yeah you're gonna hear it throughout the whole video so I apologize in advance but today's video is a not a sniffle video it is a haul haul video a collective haul not just from one place it's from all over the shop so yeah, that's what today's video is. Let's just get started then, I guess. Okay, so the first place is going to be Chemist Warehouse. We love some Chemist Warehouse here. I do. Me. Can you see the bed? No. Good, then you can't just see the mess I just made. Did that make sense? I meant to say, if that didn't make sense, I meant to say you can't see the mess I just made. If that's what I said, then I'm an idiot. If that's not what I said, that's what I meant. Okay? Okay. Like clear? Cool. Okay, let's just get into it. So if you're loyal to my channel or if you're a returning subscriber, you'd recognise this for sure. This is the Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. The gold one, the gold packaging. Yeah, if you're a loyal subscriber, you would know that I already have two of these. One of them that my mum dried out and another one that is almost empty so i need a new one oh I should probably explain i got a bunch of maybelline stuff because at chemist warehouse maybelline was half price on the range so you bet your bottom dollar that i stocked up and got myself a new one i don't need a new one i probably don't need another one for like another month or so half price can't beat it so the next item i got is the maybelline new york fit me loose finishing powder in fair light so it's just a light powder there we go and i haven't had the loose one before hopefully it's good i've had the compact one before but not the loose one so i wanted to try it out and i mean it was half price let me explain i used to have this particular one this is the pressed powder um, in pure beige yeah in pure beige so it's too dark for me naturally as you can see but I used to use it I know it's a face powder but I used to use it as a bronzer and then one day it went missing can you see where this is going because I can um, one day it went missing and I was pretty upset because I used it literally every single time I did my makeup this was my bronzer and I loved it to death and it went missing one day and I was really upset and I thought I had lost it or left it somewhere. No, my mum took it. My mum stole it from me. I saw it this morning, mum, um, when she was doing her makeup and I was sitting in there with her. And yeah, it was just sitting on the pile of makeup that she has. Completely used up. Like it was completely, all oh, this, this little window here, you couldn't see any product. She had completely used it up and I was devastated because when she originally took it, it was nowhere near used up. Not even close. So I was pretty devastated and really upset because I spent my money on that. It was not a gift to you, mum. I spent my money on that and you used it all. It was just like, why? Just, can you not? Like, can you not? Thank you. And then I also got like an actual bronzer, one that's actually labelled bronzer. Um, so this is the City Bronzer. Does it have a shade? Light cool. So it just looks like that. I figured I'd try an actual blonde. A bronzer. Sorry, that's just me seeing my blonde hair. I figured I'd try an actual bronzer in comparison to forcing a face powder to become a bronzer. And if I had just got this full price, it would have been the same price as getting them both now while they're both half price so I figured why not you know W7 don't really know 
I got the Banana Dreams loose powder, so it's literally just yellow setting powder. And I'm gonna use that to like put under my eyes to brighten and to bake and like do these ones, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I understand why people like like to like bake under their eyes and stuff like that, like I get it, but it's expensive to do so because if you were to do it with like a real powder, it's expensive to have to keep going back and buying and buying and buying when you run out. So I figured I'd try it with like a cheaper banana powder. Banana powder, did I say that right? I think I'm getting sick because I've got the same sort of brain that I've got when I'm sick. I've always got the same brain. See? Something's happening. Something's happening. Um, my brain cells are dying. But anyways, um, yeah, I figured I'd try it with a cheaper powder to see if it is something that I like to do in my makeup routine or not. I have done it before with a Wish one and I do like it with the Wish one. I think it works really well and it definitely brightens and like makes everything smooth and it makes it last such a long time. So I definitely do enjoy doing it. It really does help my makeup. So I don't want to repur is that right? I don't want to repurchase an expensive powder. I need to turn those lights off. I'll do it later. I need to turn those lights on. I'll do it now. Hang on. There we go. Now we've got the pretty lights in the background. Oh, I'm getting very overexposed though. Um, yeah, I figured I'd do it with a cheap one. Um, so I can just repurchase the cheap one if it turns out good because this is like really good value. I think this was like $5 for all this. There's, this is going to tell you, there's 20 grams of product in here, so. And then I also went to Bloom's The Chemist and I picked up this Fluoro Yellow Nail Polish. Because if you know me well, you know that one of my favourite colours of all time is Fluoro Yellow. I don't know what it is about it, I just love Fluoro Yellow. I think it's so, so pretty. It makes you look really tan and everything as well not doing wonders for me at the moment because I'm not tan at all. It's getting into winter and I'm quite pale, but oh well. I just really love Luro Yellow, so I figured why not have my nails that colour because it's one of my faves ever, so. So pretty. My room smells so strongly of perfume right now. I'll explain. So basically from Target, I got this set of Chi Chi perfumes. Don't pull out. Um... Generally, like, one Chi Chi perfume is, like, $60. So you can imagine, um, no, not a fan. This pack of one full size and two miniatures was $14. 14 Like, how could you go wrong? Hello? So, I got that. And then I also got another set that came with three different ones, actually. Are they all different? Yes, they are. They're all different scents. Thank God. No double ups. But, um, yeah, if you're wondering where this one is, it's in my lap in a towel. Because it's leaking everywhere. You can see I have not used it. And it's now half full. So, that's cool. So, I've got to be careful with that one. Obviously. And it's really, really, really strong. And it's everywhere. Like, I can smell it. Probably from the other side of the house, so great. Um, but that's what I got from Target, so there's that. The next two items I'm going to show you are actually from the Salvos, so like the op shop. Um, and it was to put back here somewhere to like decorate my room, or whatever. This from Japani little poster thingy, like canvas 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 so yeah I thought that would be super cute like back there somewhere but hello I also got you can see my fan up there my ceiling fan and me hello um this picture frame so you put two three three, three pictures and then like it's also got French panties and a giant mirror and I figured that would look nice up there somewhere also probably out of view for you does it have a price on it i know they were only cheap i think this was probably like three dollars or something and then like that big thing i think was eight if i recall correctly the last final and most exciting in my opinion place morphe i got a more 
I got a Morphe package in the mail yesterday and I was really excited. Oh, hang on, just kidding, wait. I also got this from the op shop. It says cat, I'm exposing my room right now, but it says cat, that's the poster behind me, that penguin, if you're wondering. Um, yeah, anyways, why do I keep repeating myself? It says cat with a love heart and there's a random cat in there. Obviously gonna exchange that for a picture of Naya, but I can't wait to have a little cute picture of Naya. Like, it's so cute, you know? Okay, now back to Morphe, sorry. Um, I've got the 35S palette. There is a hair on it. Got the 35S palette. No, it didn't just break. There was nothing in there. The palette is behind me. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, just standard Morphe packaging. Here's the sheet with all the names. I feel like that's pretty standard and straightforward. But yes, I got that palette and it is so beyond pretty. Like, I'm actually obsessed with it. Sorry that I've been looking at the viewfinder like this whole video. I'm so useless. But, like, look how pretty. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, oh my gorgeous. So I got that and I'm really excited about it. And I also got the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray Mist thingy. So I kind of want to see what it's like. Let me just set my face in while I've already set it. Oh. The videos online really don't do it justice. That is such a nice fine mist. That is not what I was expecting. I'm gonna be obsessed with this. And the last thing I got is, come on, the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer in C125. Soft matte. Just dropped it. My hair's looking a mess, but anyways. So yeah, and that's what it looks like. Ooh, that feels like a nice formula. That's what that looks like. It does look like a full coverage concealer, but I'll test that out in another video. Got so many videos coming your way, you just don't even know. I've literally got like 50 video ideas written down in my phone. So, living my best YouTube life. Did I just dig my finger? Yes, I did. <laughs> no, oh, it's okay, it wasn't that bad. It was only a little bit. It's not damaged. It's just now swatched. And I purposely wasn't swatching this because I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Oh my God, I'm just naming video after video. I'm on a roll. I'm so happy with myself. Okay, so that's all the items I got and all the places I went or whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoy hauls because I enjoy filming them. And there's more coming your way anyways. Sorry if you don't like them. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I make new videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos, as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you, and don't forget, everything is going to be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.